All right, uh, I'm going to show you a uh, what I feel like is a good way to keep yourself safe in a uh, hazardous tree when you have a high overhead tie-in point. Um, as you see here, I have a snap connected to a splice tie with three zip ties. Uh, these are rated zip ties. They're rated for 75 pounds each. Um, three seems to be the magic number for me, at least. Uh, I can get four to break, and I'm going to show you what I mean by break. Um, with a little bit more effort, but three seems to be the comfortable place. Um, so when you're working in a hazardous tree and you have a high tie-in point, it's good to have, I think it's good to have a breakaway lanyard where if you're working in the tree and for some reason the tree starts to fail as a whole or the piece you're standing on starts to fail, you can push yourself out of the tree, your lanyard breaks away, and you can swing clear the falling debris. Um, and the reason I have this zip tied in between the splice and the hook is if you break this free and your lanyard swings around the tree you don't want it to, you don't want the hook to get caught in any crotches where it would potentially hang you up and, and drag you down with it so uh, and I'm gonna show you what I mean here Daddy. Hi, baby. Break it, so you're working in the tree and you have an overhead tie-in point, which I'll explain here in a minute, or I'll show in a minute. And you notice the tree starts to fail. You can you can push off the tree and swing with your tie-in point. Pause it. And as you can see, this broke away pretty clean. And if there was any crotches there, this would most likely slip through it. You don't really want this going around with it. And you don't definitely don't want it coming back around and smacking in the mouth as you're uh, trying to swing to safety. Pause. Okay. And as you see here, uh, I reset it. I noticed you want to keep the um, the zippy part of the zip ties to the side. It seems like if you put them in the middle of the splice or in the middle of your snap, they don't seem to break as cleanly or uh, it's kind of have a higher breaking strength. Um, so keep it oriented there. And if you pause it, I'm going to go up the tree. Oh. So um, obviously you'd be standing in spikes. I don't want to stand in my spikes in my nice tree here. Um, so I'm working and as you can see I got a nice high tie-in point compared to what, where I'm going to be working and see the tree starts to fail and you can simply put yourself off and swing and the tree can do whatever it wants to. Um, obviously you want your tie-in point to be away from the lean. Uh, you want to have the least amount of rope angle as you can. Um, working in dead, le in, in dead trees is, or compromised trees is obviously very hazardous. And just do it how you feel is safest. And no, no tree is worth your life, so be careful with it. Um, one other thing, this by itself with the zip ties is not primary life support. You cannot take your system off while you're on this and pass it over a branch. You can have another portion of your lanyard like I have here. Amara. Pause. Sorry, I got interrupted by kid. So you have uh, um, you can have a regular lanyard on the tail of your of your breakaway lanyard for advancing through the tree if you need to. Um, and once you are secure back in your system, you can switch back. your breakaway lanyard so um, it's probably not for everybody if if you feel like the tree is unsafe don't do it um, you can do pull tests throw a line in the tree pull on it see what it does uh, you can also run a high line uh, if you don't know how to do that seek uh, guidance on how to do that uh, just make sure you have a good solid primary time point if you're going to do this